So talking about mindset and relationships, um, mindset is just a really important habit to um, cultivate on a daily basis for any level of success. Um, you're going to have people that don't have the highest emotional intelligence and they're going to walk through your day. And if you are, if you have a really great level grounded mindset, because you have some practices in place that you follow on a habitual level and it keeps you very steady. And so when these people walk in and out of your life, they won't fully knock you off your game. Sometimes it won't really even rattle your cage. Uh, if it's somebody that's close to you, okay, there might be more of a chance that um, it could either grind on you or, or fully rattle your cage. But for the most part, especially in relationships, in friendships, mm, work relationships, even like family relationships, mindset, developing a really strong mindset practice is a great kind of a preventative medicine for any encounter that you could have in the day. If we encounter someone and, and, and it's a up and it's a positive, well, yeah, we're, we're going to uh, come up and respond accordingly. But if our mindset is conditional, if it's conditional to who we encounter, what situations we interact with in the home, outside of the home. If it's conditional on that, you will get knocked off your game. You will get pulled down. You will not maintain a, a steady centered sense of, of good, good feeling inside of you. And for most people who achieve high levels of success, they've mastered this. They've mastered that kind of like core alignment. It's just core centeredness. And there's lots of practices. You know, meditation is a great practice. I have friends who do yoga just for that reason. Myself, I uh, enjoy prayer and meditation. Those things keep me really grounded. I keep my nose in really good books books that have been uh, recommended to me by people who I really admire and I really respect. And so I'm careful what I put in and I make it a daily practice that I'm inputting um, audios or podcasts or things that mm, help to raise, help to raise my mindset, help to give me a really good sense of who I am, what I'm doing, how I'm operating, because success is obviously reflected in how well you feel about yourself. When I work with people who um, are they're in a successful position, but it's slipping, and they know it's slipping because something's going on at home, or their their partner relationship is suffering, it shows up, and it eventually shows up. And so, um, meditation, uh, yoga. Mm, uplifting audios, good books. These are all things that do help our mindset. And if they're practiced in a habitual form, like an everyday, a daily habit, then your mindset becomes much more steady and you're less rocked off your game. Now, if you are somebody who is um, an advancing leader or you are successful in a certain career path and you know that things are slipping, you can feel free to reach out to me. I do work one-on-one -on -one and I prefer to work with industry leaders. I have been in business myself for um, over 40 years now. And so I do understand the, the stress on the family, the stress on the relationship, different stressors. But here is one thing. When we keep our mindset, when we proactively program our mindset to be steady, it does make a difference at home. It makes a really big difference at home. It makes a big difference in the office. It makes a big difference, just makes a big difference. So that's my recommendation 
for today is develop a mindset practice. I've just wrapped up working with um, actually a young man who is um, quite successful. And, and for his age, he's quite successful in his career path. And he he went through some tough times and reached out. And we've worked together for a little bit now. And the one thing that I can really point to is that he did adopt that practice of mindset, daily mindset discipline. It is a discipline. Like if you go and walk on a treadmill every day, you know, that's a discipline. If you count your steps every day, that's a discipline. Well, programming your your mindset, programming like your core centeredness so that when the winds of life come, and they're going to come, they're going to come tonight, they're going to come tomorrow, they're going to come the next day. But if you're steady, if you're steady on the water, you're, you will hold regardless of how much those waves want to toss or that wind wants to blow.